It is Radio Sonar. We are here. I felt like I was going for the big, the big entrance, Ronnie. Woo! <laughs> so uh, I'm Danny. I'm the station manager of Radio Sonar, uh, and I'm here with the delightful Ronnie. Ronnie, introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, guys. Hi, I'm Ronnie. Uh, I am the events coordinator. So, so basically, I, I've, I've got an incredible sales pitch for everyone watching, and I'm going to drop it to you guys now. And Ronnie, I'm not even sure you've heard this before, but we're going to drop it now, and then everyone in there is going to be signing up. It's just going to be the greatest day of their lives, really. Yes. So stand everyone in, the in their lives has listened to radio, right? You've been in the car, you've heard it, you've got involved. But have you ever thought that could be me? That could be me. I could be the one involved in radio. Have you ever thought, wow, there's so many different parts of a radio station. It's so exciting. If only I could get involved. Well, let me tell you, people watching, you can. Because Solent University has its own radio station that is just run by students instead of professionals. And what does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what it means, people watching. It means that no one really listens. And you know what that means? You could do whatever show you want. You can have so much fun with it. You can make multiple mistakes, learn your lessons, grow as presenters. Uh, it, it's just a fantastic time. But that's what's crazy about it, because that's only if you're a presenter or a producer. You don't have to just be a presenter or a producer. There are any aspect of a radio station you can get involved with if you join our society, the greatest society in the UK. We're an international, worldwide superstar radio station, and we're just thriving, aren't we, Ronnie? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Honestly, not doing right. too bad. I'll go more seriously now. Hi, guys. Radio Sonar. <laughs> We're your students radio station. We've got a top of the art, state of the range, high quality, top brow radio studio based within the university building. Uh, we use the same playout system that they use in all the big dog stations, which by default makes us a big dog station. If you want to join, you can be a presenter, you can be a producer, or you could do neither. And you could just be part of the music team that just celebrates music and, and and really like appreciates music you'd be part of the news team tech team basically anything that you could think of within a radio station or a social media platform you can get involved with and that's not always it ronnie because we're also part of the student radio association which is a governing body for student stations in the uk which is crazy because what that means is there's industry opportunities, industry training days. You can meet people from other student radio stations. Some of my best friends are from, you know, Cardiff. You've got, you got people from London. You've got people in Belfast. It's just all, it's just universal around the UK. So what Radio Sonar offers you, it offers you the opportunity to meet people within your own university. It offers you something to do with your time whilst at university. You can do a show, you can get involved, you can meet people. But not only that, it gives you the industry experience so you can shoot off into the media industry. And not only that, it means you can meet people from other universities. I mean, I don't know how many boxes we can tick at Radio Sonar, but we're ticking them all. Are we, Ronnie? I mean, according to the society schemes and all, we are. So. Yeah, well, we had a great year last year. We won six union awards and uh, we won a couple of national awards. Um, we're, we're really confident in our ability as a society. Um, but now Ronnie's going to do a passionate five-minute speech about how much she loves Radio Sonar, and I'm going to sit in silence. Um, I mean, honestly, Radio Sonar is one of the best things that has happened to me at Eni. Um, I've made so many friends for it, and I think it's just a good way to like get out there and talk about stuff that you want to talk about. Um, it's honestly great. I'm, I'm going into my like third year at Sonar, and I absolutely love it. Um, the thing is, with, with what Danny said, you can do literally anything. Um, you don't even have to do a show if you don't want to, but if you want to kind of like break out of your shell, it's good. Um, I think I think the, yeah. the, the thing that people have to think about is that student radio is its own world that maybe people don't realise, but the opportunities and the networking chances and the friends you can make through student radio and being part of Radio Sonar are so random that they will benefit. For me, like all aspects of my life have improved as a result. I have better, you know, industry ambitions. I have better industry connections. But as a person, I'm more confident and I'm better at leadership and management and talking unnecessarily long to a camera. <laughs> um, like you can get all of it in from Radio Sonar. And we're, we're £10 for the year if you join as a base level member. And that means you can come to all the industry training days. It means you can come to all the industry opportunities. It means you can go to the music team. You can write stuff for us, be involved with the social media stuff. And then if you wanted to present a show, it would be five pounds each time you do a show in extra. So the max it can be for you as a as a member is 20 pounds. 
which is still very good. If you end up presenting a show every week for the two terms, then that's a pound a week or less than a pound a week, which is crazy. But then, you know, if you're watching this, you, you would have heard Sonar TV talk about it. And, and they, they talked about the revs cards because a lot of people do offer the revs cards. But what they're not telling you is that effectively, if you join and you get a revs card, we're giving you as students free money. And I'll tell you why you're getting free money. It's a 10 pound membership, right? So you, you, join the, you join the society, you get your revs card. All you've got to do is go to Revolution over at Bedford Place and save more than £10 over the course of the whole academic year and you've saved money. So effectively, you could join our society, get our revs card, because if you're going to join a society just to get a revs card, you might as well do it to the people that are saying free money. Uh, and and you, could, you, could, you could decide you don't like radio. You could decide that I'm really annoying, which is probably inevitable. And just take the revs card and run. I'm not going to be offended because I want you to have a great time at university. So all these boxes are there to be ticked if you get involved. Me and Ronnie talk all the time about how much, you know, radio, so on student radio and has changed our life. The people we've yeah. met have been extraordinary. Some of the greatest people I know are from student radio. Uh, and if you're out there and you're and you're thinking about how can my university experience improve and how can it be better then I really do recommend our society because I, like I wouldn't be the person I am now without it. You know, if I could be serious for a second, if guys, <laughs> if everyone watches, just lets me be serious for a second. Like that's what I would say. Um, well, I mean, Ronnie, should, should we talk about maybe uh, some examples of stuff we did last year? I mean, we've still got 10 minutes to, to waffle to people about our glorious empire. An empire is a word. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we've done a bunch of stuff. I mean, where so, to start even? We could talk about, we did the 24-hour marathon in, in March. About yep. a week before lockdown, we did a 24-hour <laughs> charity live stream. Uh, we raised £1,500 for a mental health charity. That was a really fun experience. Um, I stayed up the whole 24 hours and I wouldn't want to do it again, but I've heard that Ronnie's <laughs> volunteering to do it this year. She's really excited, aren't you, Ronnie? I mean, I think it's it's a sort of legacy thing that we have to carry on now. Um, so I will, I will sacrifice my sleep and my sanity. I'm, I'm just getting a public statement from Ronnie right now. She's actually planning to do a 48 hour live marathon on Radio Sonar. Uh, this is going to get clipped from the Sonar SU page and it's going to be held against you. I mean, go big or go home, right? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's some other stuff we could... If you're interested in being a presenter and you're sat there thinking, I don't know if I've got the voice for radio, because over the course of the society sign up days and in my time at student radio, I've heard people say that they like don't feel like they have the voice for radio or the confidence for radio, which is fair. It's completely fair enough. Like if you join, you, you might feel that way. But let me tell you that it you'll you'll find it considerably easier than you maybe think. Uh, effectively, if you're doing a show in a studio and you're doing it with a friend or you're doing it, you know, remote broadcasting from home, then what you'll find is that you are literally talking to your friends and it just happens to come on air. And, and I can see the questions in there saying how to become a presenter. What you what people aren't realizing is that there is a world famous community radio superstar in this chat right now watching Kai Valentine, Bedtime Babylon. Sorry, I'm promoting something else. Um, if you want to be a presenter, what will happen is that you'll join Radio Sonar, you'll join our members group, and then what will happen is that we'll post a little Google form, right? And you little type it in, you go, I want to do a show on this. This is the times I'm free. And then as a committee, as a team, because we've got a nice, very solid six-person team, we will come yeah. together, we will congregate, <laughs> and we will form a super timetable for all the schedule. And what will happen is that Radio Sonar will have probably the greatest play out of all time because I have no doubt in my mind that Solent University students produce arguably the greatest work ever because we're the greatest university ever. Um, what do you think about that statement, Ronnie? I mean, honestly, with the scheduling and everything, it's, it's just a good time. I don't know. Um, I, I, I think it's important to get across to people like, we don't take ourselves that seriously at Radio Sonar, no. if you haven't noticed that from the last 10 minutes. Um, we like to call ourselves the Dave of student radio. Um, but if you think, if you have bad connotations of Dave as the TV channel, then we don't <laughs> think ourselves as Dave of student radio. Yeah. Um, but basically, there's a lot of flexibility. The world is literally your oyster if you get involved. Um, and 
Ronnie, yeah. I've just seen a message in about something we've done, and I think it's worth talking about. Oh, yes. An example uh, of the freedom you get with presenting is that you can literally do whatever you want. As part of the Student Radio Association, this beautiful governing body that we're part of, they do a weekly chart show uh, every Sunday, syndicates all the stations. That means basically every station in the UK, all 55 student stations play it out. I mean, this is crazy because basically you become a national chart show presenter for the week. And this year we decided that the appropriate thing to do would be to pretend that we are in Spain for the whole thing. And everyone laughs about it. Everyone goes, ha, 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 Danny Humby can't move on from the fact he did it. Well, those people making those comments are probably the people that fell for the fact that we were in Spain when actually we're in Southampton. So yeah. what you could do is, if you want to be a presenter it, it is literally anything you want. We're not governed by Ofcom or anything like that. The only rules we are, have are, you know, the no swearing, don't say anything that won't, you know, we're a university radio station at the end of the day. Um, another question that's come in, uh, can we play any music we want? The answer is yes. We've got all our yeah. licenses. You can get involved. I, I think uh, Dave Mitchell last year had a math rock show, whereas uh, my mate Cody had a musical show. So, you know, the, the options yeah. are endless. When it gets to December, the, the plan is, as, as Station Managed, to delete every single song off the system. And that way, presenters will only be able to play Christmas songs. They don't get a choice <laughs> in that. Um, but that's also not true. That's not true. I'd love it to be true, but I'd feel like yeah. people would probably overthrow me. Um, I, I feel like your empire would definitely overthrow you, Danny. Um, I mean, with the music, uh, I, I can actually say something about this. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I have done a specialist music show um by myself and with a friend uh just playing any sort of like retro nostalgic music and we've just literally picked it out every week and played it and just talked about it so you can do anything you can play any kind of music you want as long as it's clean um yeah just have fun with it really uh i think something else we could talk about as well is like social stuff obviously we're very aware this year that uh, those opportunities might be different i mean last year we had like christmas dinners and stuff and i want the people to know watching that we're working really hard to work out a way that allows people to still interact and get to know each other as a society. So example is uh, Dylan's music team. He's our head of music and they meet every bi-week to listen to the freshest new music that the that music promotions, uh, music promoters send to us. Uh, and in the past, we would go and meet in the uni, listen to it, give the feedback. And we basically realized that there's like an online jukebox uh, website that we can all use and tune into. And basically we can all have a silent disco on a on a call uh whilst whilst doing that meeting but it, in in a way it makes it more relaxed for everyone because everyone's at home everyone's relaxing everyone's chilling uh, and we're looking at maybe ways to use that for socials to get people interact um I, like i was in one yesterday and we were joking that we're going to all get the same wine every week and it's going to become like a really romantic classy evening where we all like swigging wine and listening to like the nearest muramasa album and you know what? Fair enough. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, but uh, we're really keen to make sure that everyone who gets involved with Radio Sonar has the best time and the best. Like, we're really big on community in Radio Sonar. At the Isle of Student Radio Awards last year, we won Best Station Culture, which means that on paper, we are just the greatest, most phenomenal society of all time. Um, but we, we want you guys to have the best time at university and with us. That's why, as well, with like the base level £10 membership. It works really nicely because you, you might not want to present a show. You might just want to get involved with the society in general. And by doing that £10 membership, you can come along to the training days. You can get a taste to see what life is in radio. But you can also come and meet everyone and chat and, and get involved. And I, and I think that's really exciting. Um, so, you know, Radio Sonar is a, is a phenomenal society to be part of. Um, I've, I've probably said that like three times now. Um, but we want you guys to join. As we said, it's £10 to the year. And then five pounds each time you do a show, as we said, works out under ten pound, uh, under a pound a week. Uh, you get free money from the Revs card. You get to interact with people in the industry, make friends from other stations. Um, but if if you if we're not your cup of tea, then there's so many phenomenal societies that the SU offers. I mean, the, the Sonar SU does such a fantastic job of making everyone feel loved and, and giving people as much voice as they can. Um, you know, Sonar TV just now, if you, that's more your type of thing, if you want a really serious, boring time at uni, then <laughs> go to them. Um, but if you, like Rounders, Jim mentioned it just beforehand, another great, like there's just so many. Uh, sonar Cinema is another cracking one. I mean, basically, if you if it's got Sonar involved in the name, I'd get involved because 
yeah. we've been a dominant force at Solent for years. But um, yeah, I mean, I don't have anything else to say, Ronnie, surprisingly. Um, but is there anything <laughs> you want to add? I mean, I just wanted to say that, like, obviously you'll see how much Danny's talking and how much I'm really not. Um, but you can, you can kind of, I, I don't mean it in a bad way, I just mean it in a way of, like, even if you don't think that you can talk about something for an hour or however we'll make the slot however long the slots will be this year um you can still kind of do it like I I've done just fine um talking on air and it it's it can be as relaxed or as like high energy as you want it to be so it's really just all about like doing your own thing and if you if you want to see more of what we're doing, uh, we're Radio Sonar on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page, and then we're at Radio Sonar on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I post a lot of garbage on there. We've recently been interacting with Union Jack Radio, which is a national radio station. And this Friday, we're the English representatives of the World College Radio Day, which means we are worldwide. I've got a pre-record with the South African student station tomorrow. Um, so, Mike, if you're watching from South Africa... Hello, mate. I don't know who you are, but and there's no way you're watching, <laughs> but the thought's there. So as we said, you know, get involved, check us out on our social medias, go to the Solent SU page, read up all the societies, not just us. And if you want to get involved, we'd love to have you. You can register an interest. But otherwise, you know, thanks so much for watching. I know so many of my friends have popped by. I see Olu popping up in there. You know, thanks so much for anyone getting involved and even just debating joining Radio Sonar. Um, we want you to be involved. And I promise Ronnie will talk more if you join the society.